Hey, what's happening guys? So, um, last video, uh, towards the end there, I'd said something about a box that came in for the truck. And, uh, you know, obviously, no secret, it was brake related. And so, uh, the rest of everything else that I had ordered has arrived. Um, it's been sitting on my table in the house probably for the last week. Um, I get a little bit of free time this week. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start on the brakes on the truck. But uh, before we roll into that video, we're going to go ahead and uh, just make a quick clip here uh, about what I bought for the truck. Um, so you got a lot of options. Um, you know, it all depends on what you can can't afford, your price point. But uh, I will say that uh, my, from my own experience that um, what's easier on the wallet isn't always easy on the wallet in the long run. Uh, for example, my wife's car, um, whenever I met her, I started maintaining it, and uh, I probably put three sets of brakes on that thing. And uh, about by the fourth set of warped rotors, um, I went ahead and sprung for stuff that wasn't from the uh, local parts store. And so uh, uh, I believe they were power stop rotors. Um, but I went ahead and got EBC um, frictions, you know, pads, for, uh, for her brake setup. And um, honestly, I haven't been in a vehicle that uh, stops quite like her car now. Um, now, that's not saying a whole hell of a lot, because I really haven't been in anything crazy other than my own vehicles. Uh, my 06, I had put drilled and, ro uh, drilled and slotted rotors on it with i forget who i ran for frictions but um it performed extremely well uh even though it had 38 1550s on it and it's a diesel so it's a heavy truck uh there's a lot to stop there and uh i could be rolling down the highway and if uh, if i needed to uh, they would they would lock up when i asked them to um so for this truck here since i do some more towing with it uh, I don't quite have the trailer brakes on my trailer figured out. Um, I wanted to make sure that this thing was going to be able to handle anything I threw at it. Uh, you know, obviously if you're hauling something, um, your truck should not be your primary source of braking with a heavy load anyways. I get that. Um, so I went with a drilled and slotted rotor from EBC uh, for the fronts. Uh, to save a little bit of cost, uh, I went ahead and did a solid rotor in the rear. Um, mainly did the drilled and slotted uh, in the front, or dimpled and slotted, sorry. Uh, because they do the majority of your work. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, camera set up here. I got a little table um, set up here in the garage. Uh, I'm going to cut open some boxes, pull everything out of the boxes. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit about what's in said boxes. So these boxes here, these big ones, they are just the rotors. It's uh, one rotor per box. Um, we're going to give this a shot, try to do this with one hand. Got them stacked here on the quad. So EBC uh, covers these in what they call a, uh, a Geomet uh, coating. It's just uh, supposed to stop rust and corrosion. Uh, typically whenever you get rotors, they're covered in an oil. You have to uh, clean them off before you try and run them. Uh, you know, they tend to smoke like crazy as soon as you run them and use them. Um, these, these don't need that. 
because they're COVID. Because they're coated, they don't rust. Some of the extra fancy stuff you pay for. This pack contains two rotors. I'll be surprised if it has two rotors in it. Again, like I said, the rears went ahead and went with a solid rotor. Uh, they don't do nearly as much work as the fronts do here. Um, so, a little extra needed cooling. Uh, I wouldn't say it's quite as critical. Again, they're black. They uh, have the Geomet coating on them. Um, keeps your rotors just... And your vehicle just looking a little nicer. You don't have to worry about rust. Um, now, so when I was doing some reading on EBC, um, they actually kind of get into the science of the uh, the material that the rotors are made out of, and uh, you know also some of the failures of your big box store rotors. Um, uh, you know, obviously, due to cost. Uh, the, the, the actual makeup of the material can and will be different and so if you take those more inexpensive rotors and you try to push them to the limits uh, you can cause the heat cracks and the warping um, and the added pedal pulse from, uh, from constantly getting your brakes hot. I'm not going 100% go into the science of it just because I don't want to uh, act like um, I'm an expert after reading online for five minutes, but uh, it, it's, it's basically the breakdown. Um, they get up to a temperature, there's like a, uh, a crystallization that happens once they get up to that temperature and it becomes very brittle and then that leads to heat cracks, uh, some pretty bad warping issues. And uh, so, you know, that's, that's typically why um, your rotors from like your box store and stuff like that, they just, they don't, they don't last very long, or they warp, seem to warp extremely quickly. So I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I got two more boxes, um, you know, one more rear, one more front. And then uh, EBC, they have a couple of different options for your friction materials, um, pads, front, rear, stuff like that. And so they refer to their products as like green stuff, yellow stuff, red stuff um, and they all have different makeups as to what kind of friction material is and benefits of that friction material uh, for your application so definitely worthwhile to pay attention to what you're ordering um, typically you get what you pay for and you definitely pay for this stuff but um, just because it's more expensive doesn't necessarily mean it's more better for your application. So if you're looking for low dust, low noise, um, easy on your rotor types of pads and stuff like that, they, they break that all down uh, whenever you're looking at their products. Um, I'm going to confirm here in a second. Uh, whether or not this comes with the hardware, I've heard, I've seen reviews where it doesn't come with um, the brake hardware. For myself and my truck, I went ahead and went with what they call the the yellow stuff. Um, it just kind of fit my application the best. Uh, like I said, the, the truck is tuned. Um, no, I don't necessarily do anything crazy or speed with it but having the stopping power when I need it um, definitely important to me so there it is that's the yellow stuff um, I believe they actually paint their pads uh, the color of their product name but um, 
so they also have this break-in coating that's put over the surface of these things here and it's uh, it's super aggressive it uh, helps clear the coat helps bed the pad and bed the rotor to itself well not to itself to each other and um, uh, they refer to it as uh, quote unquote instant drivability um, you still have to run heat cycles and in a sense temper the rotors and the pads otherwise you aren't going to get the same performance or longevity it looks like it'd be a larger set of friction so it's got to be back in the fronts so it kind of meets it back here and I rattle clips for the piston cups Those are probably noise isolators. Oh yeah, those are beefy. Those are meaty. EBC, yellow stuff. Um, even with all the COVID stuff, honestly, this stuff shipped super fast. So I ordered this stuff from Summit. Um, I was on the fence for quite a while what to get. And whether or not to wait for stuff that was or wasn't available and uh this stuff shipped directly from the manufacturer now i highly doubt it actually came um straight from england uh, i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to bend that back up packaging could be a little bit better but um no otherwise i mean it came came here right quick didn't take long at all the oem brake caliper on um, i believe it's my driver's side uh, it drags and it has dragged for quite a while um, we've got two vehicles and the, the truck sits majority of the time because well it's just cheaper to drive my wife's car so i've never really sweat the fact that the caliper kind of drags a little bit it's, it's not bad it just it gets a little warm after going on long trips and uh, you can definitely tell that it's uh, hotter than the rest of the calipers and uh, so I went ahead and got new calipers automatically you know assuming that is an issue with caliper it can just be an issue with uh, it can just be an issue with a pad hanging up you know it doesn't necessarily have to be a caliper if you got a sticky brake pad or something along those lines um, set this down for a second all right now I got that box in a place I can actually get to it grab my knife get this thing opened up So I didn't get OEM calipers. Uh, I was on the fence about getting them for the rear of the truck too, but uh, like I said, um, cost savings, uh, I decided not to. Uh, the ones in the rear, as far as I know, I've got no reason to believe that they are an issue. So I stuck with just getting replacement calipers for the front of the truck. Now. Uh, this definitely came out of my own pocket um, obviously uh, there's not nearly enough growth on the channel yet um, for anybody to say help me out this is what I got the power stop performance brake calipers they advertise them as a four piston caliper I will be interested to see if it's actually a four piston caliper uh, pictures did not really do anything justice. Um, the pictures they used were probably stock photos and uh, it just looked like a regular old two piston caliper, which is what I believe is the OEM configuration. Now I decided to go with the four piston just because you can get a little bit better performance out of them. You get 
more even braking pressure through four pistons than two across the surface of the pad uh, but other than that that's really about it so i mean if if you've got calipers in the front end of your truck that are performing just fine uh you know completely totally unnecessary the uh like i said the the aftermarket calipers were purely of choice per se um well they were because i had a need but then i chose to get them instead of oems i think that's the proper way to put it let's open one of these up all right goodbye box all right so um those are obviously not four piston calipers uh thanks summit i believe uh you need to correct your your listing well actually you know what before i put that on summit maybe just go ahead and double check it myself And then we'll roast some it. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, we can definitely stick this on Summit. So their listing is uh, for part number um, S5172. The picture here, um, let's see, well, maybe not. I don't know what you can and can't see with the glare. Let me give this another shot. So you see there, the picture clearly shows two pistons, um, not four piston. Now, I don't know if they're just counting total piston quantity in the package, which sounds pretty retarded to me, uh, but it is clearly advertised as caliper piston quantity four. there four well uh you know what they say soccer's born every day and i guess when i was born i was the soccer well either way i needed new calipers so uh yeah that's that um everything pretty straightforward from there So yeah, I just figured I'd make a quick video about, um, you know, what I bought, kind of why I bought it for the truck. And, uh, you know, like I said, it feel it fits my application. Um, and now uh, I definitely encourage you to do your own uh, reading, evaluating of, uh, of EBC's products. Uh, like I said, I've got a little bit of experience with them and the experience that I've had with them, um, I really like their product. That's, uh, that's why I kind of shelled out an arm and a leg for what I did for this truck. Um, now, you know, my wife's car is expensive when I did it, but the fact is that it's a GMC terrain. Now, you get a one-ton pickup truck and you start doing brakes on it. Uh, your price gets pretty crazy pretty quick. So, um, for comparison, uh, we'll, we'll just say that um, I went ahead and looked at the stuff at the box store and even the cheap stuff like i mean running you know i probably shouldn't put this kind of stuff on my truck you know category and uh that was that was 550 bucks almost 600 bucks now the box store actually did have the say premium end the the, the higher end scale of their stuff but it's all ordered in it's nothing they carried it's all stuff they had to you know bring in and who knows how long that was actually going to take uh thanks covid 
and uh, so that was I want to say that was still even at almost 800, 850, maybe even above, um, just for that. Now, I can't really say just for that when I just spent what I did on that stuff there. Um, again, uh, small channel, I'm just starting, um, you know, my life is very much about survival. <laughs> Truck needs brakes, my wife almost blew through a red light, I got a newborn daughter. Well, can't really call her newborn anymore. She's almost seven months. And, um, you know, I just, I need a truck that stops. Plain and simple. Uh, so I didn't have any help. Um, it was very, very hard on my pocket. So, uh, again, you know, I just, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, you know, going on this crazy, crazy, very crazy. Um, journey that uh you know is life so uh again if uh if you can if you want uh especially if you make it this far through my videos um drop a like comment let me know what's going on um subscribe uh, i'm gonna keep doing this uh it's it's gonna take me a while i know uh everything takes effort and everything takes time um so i don't, I don't expect this to pay off overnight by any means so, uh, so yeah, stick around. Um, hopefully things get better, get a little more entertaining, and I can continue to provide uh, better and better content for everybody. Uh, that's all I got. Thanks.